Allegiance! Welcome back to x TV. I'm Nia Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Wednesday, October 11th, 2023. Let's go to a live for Hispanic Heritage. Thank you, Nia. Bienvenidos, Patriots. Today we will be talking about the Scarlet Flycatcher. And as the name mentions, the Scarlet Flycatcher is a part of the flycatcher species. It is mostly found in southeastern Bolivia, Brazil. Did you know the reason why the Scarlet Flycatcher has its name is because they tend to eat and catch insects. Scarlet flycatchers tend to fly by moving swiftly in a loop back and around. These birds are quite impressive. Now let's go to Samara for today's lunch. Thank you, Eli. Today's lunch is chicken patty sandwich, turkey and cheese wrap, steamed corn, fresh broccoli, buttermilk ranch dressing, garden side salad, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is blueberry orange muffins, cinnamon toast crunch, fruit loops, string cheese, fresh banana, and 100% orange juice. Students, please keep in mind the lunch menu can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. And don't forget to let your teachers know if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's head back to Nia. Thank you, Samara. That sounds delicious. From the mastermind behind the bad guys comes an exclusive new adventure. Princess Beautiful, number one cat video star and fugitive from the law. Here is the famous feline seen here trying to end the world. She claims she's innocent, but we all know this is the face of evil. The world's most wanted criminal has narrowly escaped custody and is now at large. Everyone everywhere is hunting for this cat on the run. We're going to have a hoot when we check in in the book fair. Starting next Thursday the 19th, all your favorite books will be there waiting for you to pick them. Reading is always fun when you choose it. Tomorrow you can show your sass when you wear all green. Make sure to still respect others. For today's Hispanic Heritage activity, you will be able to learn about a Hispanic artist. Personally, I like Pablo Picasso. Patriots, remember it's good to keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And remember, there is no chewing gum in school. Spit it out before entering the building. Nine days, Patriots! The challenge ends on the 20th. We're almost there. Don't give up yet. Remember your reward. It will be gratifying. The girls' basketball tryouts are today. Aren't you excited? Make sure you have the following. Completed physical. Completed grade sheet with parent signature. The child will begin at 4 and will end at 5.30. Make sure to not be late. On the 27th, K-5 will have the best fun at the barn. It will be so much fun, I just know it. Remember to pay $5 and no referrals throughout the month. I know you all will have fun. On the 27th, we will be digging up a storm when we get the chicken nuggets. Same as the barnyard dance. You will need to pay $5 and no referrals. We know you can do it. It's our Boo Grams. Make sure to order before the 25th or before items sell out. The fee is $5. Are you hyped? Well, wait till you see our fall festival. Tickets are on myschoolbucks.com. The festival is on the 28th. Let's see your scary or cute costumes. Tomorrow, boys flag football team and girls volleyball have a game at Hebrew Academy. Let's wish them luck. Now, yesterday, our girls had a game. Let's hear about it from Camila. Thank you, Nia. Welcome back to Sports Patriots. On Monday, our girls volleyball had a game against the Jewish Academy. We won a full three set game and ended up winning 15 to four. The MVPs for this game were players number two, Norelis, with the most scored points, and number 14, Nicoletta, with the most scored serves. Congratulations to our volleyball team for winning. We hope to see you at the next game. Thank you, Camilo. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is 89 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. Make sure to pack a raincoat. In other weather news, pink waters were spotted in Australian wetlands. The pink water is produced by algae growth. Even though the lake isn't safe for fish to swim in, it's 100% safe for humans to swim in. There are about 12 pink lakes in the world, but not all pink lakes are the same. Some have brighter shades and some have different temperatures. What's your favorite shade of pink? Now let's go to Ariel for today's birthdays. Thank you, Hadassah. Today's birthday girls are Isabel DeCoz, Aaliyah Eckford, and Chael Pierre. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Nia. Patriots, 
Hear your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kind towards others, choose the schools about respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. M. Williams, Ms. Silvera, Ms. Denqua, Ms. Samuel, Ms. Valdez, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Stone, Ms. Ward, and Ms. Mirage for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was cats have four, bugs have four, but school has six. What are they? The correct answer was letters. Today's daily challenge is Daily Challenge. Which template can form a glass cube on the left corner? Teachers, please send your answers to finds.renaissance.gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. When will it be announced on the next morning announcements? Everyone at IPTV would like to wish you all a wealthful Wednesday. Have a fantastic day! Thank you, Camilo. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is 89 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. Make sure to pack a raincoat. In other weather news, pink waters were spotted in Australian wetlands. The pink water is produced by algae growth. Even though the lake isn't safe for fish to swim in, it's 100% safe for humans to swim in. There are about 12 pink lakes in the world, but not all pink lakes are the same. Some have brighter shades and some have different temperatures. What's your favorite shade of pink? Now let's go to Ariel for today's birthdays.